Hi everybody, my name is Becky. I am at Becky O'Call here on Instagram. And today I'm going to be taking you along on a quick forage around my farm. And today I'm actually picking a lovely wild salad. It's a beautiful time of year and actually there's just so many beautiful wild edibles available. The more I look, the more I just see so many things jumping out at me. So I'm really excited to see what's around. Um, the first thing that I'm going to get actually is this lovely three corner leek which is just behind me. It's just started to flower and it's got these lovely little white flowers you can probably see there. And I'm going to be using those in the salad for a little bit of a garlicky chivey flavour. And I'm also going to pick some of the lovely long stalks as well. Beautiful leaves um, and with a sort of triangular shape and I'm going to be using those as well. You know you've got three corner leek because it smells that sort of oniony, chivey, garlicky scent um, and those lovely long slender leaves. So I'm gonna pick a few of those and put them into my basket for our salad. So I am actually down in our polytunnels now and I have got a huge clump of chickweed here and chickweed is another brilliant herb to go looking for. It's tasty when it's nice and young and juicy like this, and it works really, really, really well in a pesto, but also if you get them nice and tender and young, you can use them in a salad as well. So I'll probably take a few clumps of this and I'll also make a wild pesto as well when I'm back in the kitchen. I really love foraging in the garden and using things that would be considered as weeds. I love dandelion, daisy, nettle, all these things that um, to an untrained eye you might end up just throwing out but actually this makes great salad and nutritious food so yeah waste not want not. I've also found a little bit of cleavers hiding by the cabbages and I will bring this in not to have in a salad I personally don't like cleavers in salads although you could eat the very young shoots but I'm gonna um, crush this up and put it in a glass of water and let it infuse overnight um, as a refreshing and detoxifying drink probably with some mint. So I've spied another delicious wild edible here just growing as a weed this is bittercress it's really tasty it's quite like rocket and um, it's got these little white flowers so I'm going to pick some of this as well for our salad so I've come across some beautiful gorse gorse has that lovely coconutty flavor on the flowers and I love using them in salads just for a bit of color and interesting flavor and also behind me is some hawthorn and if you can get nice young hawthorn, just as it um, sort of comes into leaf, you can also add that into salads and it gives a nice sort of bitter nutty flavor as well. I'm also going to be picking a couple of leaves of yarrow for another sort of interesting bitter flavor for my salad. I'm also going to pick a couple of leaves of sorrel. Sorrel has that delicious lemony flavor, quite tart. So just a couple of leaves of that cut into strips makes a delicious addition to the salad. I'm also a huge fan of flowers, edible flowers. And down here are some lovely wild violets. So I'm gonna pick a couple of those for my salad. And they're just so beautiful. And I also spy, there's more gorse behind me some cherry blossom so i'm going to grab a little bit of that just to spruce up my salad you probably hear pigs <laughs> they're behind me so a couple of these beautiful cherry blossom so i think that's going to be it for my wild salad i'm just going to put that all together now and i'll make a dressing with a little bit of fire cider and um, that i made earlier on in the season as well as some like oil and garlic be delicious and i'm really going to enjoy that this evening so i hope this video has been interesting for you thank you for coming along on my little foraging walk and i hope you are all well bye